We're now going to have a look at testing the Toyota Denso 4 wire coil on plug ignition coil. Just keep in mind that it's super important that you have the correct wiring diagram and you know which terminal belongs where. In this case I've marked my leads on purpose. I've just picked up an old connector from the wrecking yard and chucked on some alligator clips to make it easier for me. After inspecting a wiring diagram I've labelled all my wires so that I know what goes where. My black red one is positive. My white black one is negative. This white red one is actually a feedback circuit which goes back to the ECU. We don't need to worry about that at this point in time. I'm just using an old crusty incandescent test light. Yeah, it looks a bit dodgy, but these fellas are actually only triggered by 5 volts. So all we have to do now is just simply touch it like that. Don't forget that you need an earth wire going onto the test spark plug that you've got on the coil. Just on my trigger wire. You can see that this coil is firing. Just keep in mind that this doesn't test it dynamically on the vehicle under load. And of course, we haven't checked out our feedback circuit either, but that's a whole different story. This is for basic testing of an ignition coil, four wire ignition coil that's on the Toyota range Denso. And this one appears to be good. Another method for testing the ignition coils can be a bench test by use of something similar to this. This is one that I've made myself just using a uh, pulse width modulated frequency generator um, together with a few MOSFETs and bits and pieces inside to allow for high voltage to go through and basically you can check and see if you can get a pulse happening. So we've got it at one hertz, in other words one time a second. Let's just crank it up and see what it can do. 41 125, 237, 1.78 kilohertz. Obviously the coil is going to get pretty hot at this point. That way you can tell if the ignition coil is firing okay and coping with the extra load. The main difference on this Toyota Denso 4 wire coil is that this one has a feedback circuit which really can only be checked with an oscilloscope. The worst part about this RAV4 fault is that it's intermittent so now the damn thing is running but I'll give you an idea so you can see what a 4 wire ignition coil looks like. You can see the pattern here is starting high and being pulled down low and this is for all cylinders and that's why there's a lot more of them there. This one over here is low and it gets pulled high and that's why there's only one or two of them because I'm only doing one cylinder rather than these being this feedback circuit being connected in parallel therefore it's doing four at once. This one over here is only doing cylinder number one.